Well, I hope you had a profound experience with awareness. And what do we do with awareness now? Now that we are starting to become aware of our patterns, our communication, and our decision making, now we get to be a little bit more intentional. Now it's how do I want to respond versus how am I going to react? It's being able to choose because you do have a choice. You do have power. Once you gain awareness and realize that it doesn't have to be this way, then you can start to think, well, what is it that I do want? How do I want to respond? How do I want to change this habit? What do I want to change this habit with? And so in the passage I wrote, which I please highly recommend you read in it because this talks about the intentions within our body and how our body moves as a unit and it will help guide you through these flows a little bit better. I want to talk about intentions with our mind and being intentional with our communication and how we express ourselves. So let's talk about the subconscious and conscious mind. So our conscious mind is the awareness, the goal setter. It's the captain of the cruise ship. It's, I want this and I claim that. Okay. The subconscious mind is the passive work behind it. It's the cruise ship members who help facilitate to get to that goal. It starts to pick up those little opportunities that you consciously wouldn't have found it's your subconscious mind that starts to pick up on all of that it starts to attract that energy to you because it knows what the goal is and it knows what it is searching for so your conscious mind gives your subconscious mind direction so setting intention in the morning is so so important and so special because it's really going to help dictate your day for example Say you want to be intentional with your relationship with food and you want to improve your relationship with food. If you didn't have that awareness and you didn't set that intention, then when the opportunity presented itself, it would just go right over your head and you would still be on that same cycle and same habit. Being intentional is being able to decide, okay, if this presents itself, how do I want to respond? And so if you set the intentions that I want to have a better relationship with food, then opportunities might come up where you might be presented something that is not aligned with that intention that you set. And so because you set that intention subconsciously, it'll be more easier to be aware of that's not aligned with me. That's not a good relationship with food. Your intentions is going to help you understand what decisions to make. Your intentions are so important because it's going to help guide that oppor or it's going to help attract that opportunity to you. So you don't physically have to do so much effort. It just requires you to be you. Say you want to set intentions to improve your relationship with food. Well, as soon as you state that and make that decision to improve your relationship, one is how are you going to improve your relationship with food and what needs to be done for that? And that will be in the next couple weeks. But intentions is, I want to improve my relationship with food. Okay. Be mindful that if you want to improve your relationship with food, you're going to experience trials, you're going to be challenged, and you're going to be presented opportunities to prove to yourself, is this the best decision for me? Is this a healthy relationship with food or not? It's going to give you the strength and the courage to say, no, you know what? Not this time. It's not beneficial. It's not going to improve my relationship with food. And so when you start to set those intentions, your subconscious mind is going to start, oh, this is how she wants me to respond. Okay. So your subconscious and your conscious mind work together to reach those goals. And we first start with awareness and intentions. So I hope this helped. If you have any questions whatsoever, please feel free to reach out. I'm so happy to explain anything else that might be not as clear as daylight. So reach out, ask for support, and start to set those intentions, and you'll notice a huge change in your life.